Welcome to Introduction to Accounting, Preparing for a User's Perspective, Overview of the Accounting Cycle. In previous topics, we studied the general purpose financial statements, their equations, and how the financial statements can help external users make debt and equity financing decisions. In this topic, I will discuss the accounting cycle, which is a set of recurring procedures and thought processes used by entities to convert economic data from source documents into general purpose financial statements. The accounting cycle is called a cycle because its procedures and thought processes are performed over and over and over again year after year. Each year, when all the proper steps have been successfully performed in order, a set of reliable financial statements will be produced and the company will be ready to account for a new year. Five key steps in the accounting cycle are as follows. One, identify economic transactions and the related source documents to help determine what accounts need to be updated. Two, analyze the impact of the information on the company's accounts by determining the answer to the following questions. A, what accounts were affected? B, for each affected account, did the account increase or decrease? C, what is the account's increase or decrease amount? D, Will the account need to be debited or credited? Don't worry if you don't yet understand debits and credits because they will be the focus of one of the upcoming topics in this learning module. Three, record journal entries to reflect the impact of the information on the company's accounts determined above. Four, post the impact of the recorded journal entries to each account's general ledger account so its revised account balance can be computed. Five, prepare a trial balance which lists all accounts and their respective debit or credit balances to ensure that the balance sheet equation is still in balance. Note, after the adjusted trial balance is prepared, the company will prepare its general purpose financial statements. The full accounting cycle. Because I think the full accounting cycle is better presented horizontally, the following slide will show the five steps just discussed, but in a way that indicates a progression from original transaction entries to adjusting entries to closing entries. I will also point out when, during the full accounting cycle, you would prepare the financial statements. One, record entries related to original transactions with customers, employees, suppliers, governments, lenders, etc. Two, Record entries related to adjusting entries to correct any misstated accounts from one above. For example, prepaid rent may need to be adjusted to reflect the using up of a few more months. Or, interest expense related to outstanding loans may need to be accrued. Important. Once the final adjusted trial balance has been prepared, the company can prepare its financial statements for distribution to external parties. 3. Record closing entries to close all nominal accounts all revenues, expenses, and dividends into the retained earnings account. After the closing entry steps are fully completed, the company will be ready for a new year, thus sending it back to the recording of original transactions again. Let's take just a moment to discuss the purpose of closing entries. After the financial statements for a given year have successfully been produced, the company must close all of its nominal, i.e. temporary accounts, into retained earnings. Nominal accounts are temporary equity accounts such as revenues, expenses, and dividends that caused retained earnings to change during the year. All nominal accounts are closed into retained earnings at the end of each year. By closing all nominal accounts into retained earnings, which is a permanent account, at the end of every year, the company will be able to start the new year with zero balances in revenues, expenses, and dividends, and their old balances will be carried forward on the balance sheet within the retained earnings account. Closing entries also ensure that no old revenues, expenses, or dividends from prior years get accidentally mixed up with current year revenues, expenses, and dividends, thus avoiding the risk of being double counted. Right now, you might be asking yourself, why do I need to understand the accounting cycle? Here are my thoughts on the subject. Over your lifetime, you can pretty much guarantee that you will somehow be involved in or impacted by the accounting cycle because you will perform it, manage it, program it, audit it, or certify the results of it in the form of reliable financial statements. Regardless of your future involvement, a strong understanding of the accounting cycle will help you speak accounting, the language of business. Summary. What you just received was a super condensed, super speed discussion of the accounting cycle. 
Over the next several topics, we will dig into the steps of the accounting cycle in more detail to ensure you fully comprehend it and can do it. Please note, I do not yet expect that you are an expert on the accounting cycle because we haven't really even dug into the component steps yet. Don't worry, it is okay. If you don't yet fully understand it, the subsequent topics in this and other modules will help you master it. As of now, just make sure that you remember the five recurring steps of the accounting cycle below and make sure you know them in order. 1. Identify relevant economic information. 2. Analyze the impact on the accounts. 3. Record journal entries. 4. Post the entries to the general ledger accounts. 5. Prepare the correct trial balance. Also make sure you know the three types of entries that are made during the accounting cycle and when the financial statements would be prepared as noted below. 1. Original transaction entries. 2. Adjusting entries, including the preparation of financial statements. 3. Closing entries. If you would like to see another professor's summarized discussion of the accounting cycle, you might like the following 7 minute and 53 second one on YouTube titled Lecture 6 The Accounting Cycle. If you have even more time to spare, i.e. 57 minutes and 15 seconds, here is a video of a full live lecture on the accounting cycle post on YouTube that you might find interesting, titled Chapter 4 Lecture The Accounting Cycle. Good luck on the quiz.